Friends, today we're going to look at a video of one of the worst people I have ever seen. Every once in a while, I come across something on the internet so vile, where someone is just doing the unthinkable, and I have to make a little video explaining, not to you, but to myself, why I hate this person so much. I shouldn't. I don't even know this person. I'll never meet him. I don't even eat vegetables. Yet my hate boils at this evil, basic, common household bitch so intensely that I just had to show the internet. Sharon, when I came up, wasn't I? I said I'd like to get free groceries today if that's possible. And you said today is possible. You said that you were down to the last dollar in your bank account. And if you needed the produce for yourself, and I said we'd be more than happy to help you with a few items. You put a few items in your bag. I asked you that was enough, and then you continue to list off at least five to ten more items that you wanted. Not five to ten, that's a bit of a tip mm, exaggeration. No, you said you wanted I a couple more bunches of ginger, some cilantro, some parsley, that. and a few bunches Can of... Can I interrupt I for a moment? Part. Okay, for those of you who don't speak ungrateful entitled cunt, I will translate for you. What is happening here is the woman behind the camera told some sob story to the workers at a farmer's market that she was broke and needed free food. So they said they would help her with a few items. At that point, apparently, she began treating the market like it was supermarket sweep. Go, Rob! Welcome to today's big sweep. You're looking at Rob of Team One, and he's following a path a lot of shoppers have taken. It leads to our meat section, and Rob stops in front of a mountain of gold. Gold wrapped hams, that is. They're worth a lot of money. And again, this isn't Walmart or HEB or Kroger's or Real Canadian Superstore. At Real Canadian Superstore, super is in our name. This is a farmer's market. This woman came here to target people who were in a position to give away something free and not justify it to 12 managers. She was hoping to make a super nice vegan dinner, maybe even dinner for a date for free. There are two reasons this woman would go here. First and most innocently, she's a gourmet vegan highfalutin organic shopper. Or two, she's a fucking hobo looking for a free meal, and like I said before, feels entitled to her vegan food. Oh, oh, Leticia! Yes, just like Leticia, she would do this. Half the people watching this are already making the association, so I'm just gonna say it. So strike one, psycho. I'm on to you. I've met someone like you before. You're not fooling us. That is exactly what you and said. Cilantro. No, that's exactly what you said. But then you I recording. said I needed to continue to shop. No, that's no, not true. Yes. That is exactly true. You're exaggerating. But and those exaggerating, items I'm would saying would be useful to me. Why would I be jeopardizing my job? Right not, you're not jeopardizing your job. She can't give you free items. You can't take. You're in my way. You cannot Back take those items. Camera. Let me tell you, I will post this on Facebook. I am a $1,000 an hour healer. So apparently there is some manner of accountability here, as this appears to be a manager of some kind, which was a miscalculation by our mystery bitch. And a man steps in to tell her she cannot just take things for free, which probably never would have happened and she could have gotten some stuff for free had she not been so entitled and greedy. This phenomenon seems to happen when you spoil a child so badly that they actually have no life skills and end up living in their car, still carrying the sense of entitlement they had as a suburban kid. It causes a conflict they can't resolve between what they think they deserve and what they actually have in life. Everything is everyone else's fault, they aren't responsible for any of it, and they deserve more. For some people, they kind of move forward. This is a phase. They learn they have to work for it. No one's going to make you happy but you. No one's going to hand you anything. But for some, they can't reconcile reality with what they thought their life was going to be as an adolescent, and they remain adolescent. Living in a car, pretending someday in the future success and the adult life you wanted is coming, postponing growing up, lying about being a thousand dollar an hour healer, when in reality my guess is she's a professional cuddler if anything. Ah yes, the cuddlers, we've seen that before haven't we boys? When they killed Backpage, the new hooker scam was cuddling. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and ask the obvious question. If you make a grand an hour, why are you on your last dollar begging for cilantro from a parking lot farmer's market like a bum? Ma'am, my hypothesis is you are a transient bum. I could be wrong, but I have the old TI-86 calculator out and this story just isn't adding up. Oh, and let's not forget the threat of social media exposure. The arrogance it takes to think that anyone is going to see this video and be on her side teeters on the schizophrenic. When people have nothing else, 
when they're caught wrong and can't fight anymore, they threaten you with their massive social media following. You will never sleep at night again. Her mobile phone fingers will deliver to you a pointy reckoning that will make you wish you never saw the sun go down, farmer man. Look, if you're on YouTube and you get in a fight with somebody and they threaten to make videos on you, well, you're on video social media. That might happen. But to just run around the world threatening people with cameras is one of the most annoying human habits born out of the decline of Western civilization. Everyone is a budding citizen journalist when they get mad and want revenge. You, you can do that. Out of my way. You can't steal I'm from the market. Way. I'm not stealing. She's on camera. And she You're an asshole. I was a rape survivor. A rape survivor. You need to say you're sorry. Was he the one who did it? Did, did this just happen? Did it happen today at the farmer's market? If, if so, you should go to the police immediately. What does that have to do with anything? Look, lady, I'm sorry for people I know who got raped. I'm sorry in a very general way for it being a thing and happening to anyone. But please explain the relevance other than trying to front load the explanation for your shit thieving behavior with as much pity as possible does mentioning this serve. This is another thing I see all the time, usually from women. When busted, they want you to listen to all of the bad things happening in their lives so you feel sorry for them and you, and you just let them off the hook. Look, here's an arrest video of somebody doing the same thing. I'm trying to get to my neighborhood! Seriously, guys! I just got a divorce from the most evil man ever! I'm moving in like a, two days! I need to get off this island! Please, I really, I'm sorry. You could I just have killed one of these people running. You know that? No, I did not. You could have killed. One I of didn't. Wasn't running. anywhere near them. They told me to beat the people over here. There is some disconnect in some people's minds that doesn't make them realize that people who don't know you aren't obligated to give a shit about your past or what's going on in your life, especially if they're at their job. So you are an alleged rape victim at some point. So what? What the hell's your point? You think you can cash this fact in for free food? Are you looking for an abused woman's shelter? They might do that. This this is a business. Did you do that again? We're photographing each You've arrived at your destination. That'll be, that'll be an act of you know what? You're the one who's an asshole. This market's gonna get a shout out. That's not kind. Did you hear me say rape survivor? It's an aspect of trespass Did if you, you come and take say, items survivor. again. I didn't take anything. I had permission. You heard her say, I gave her permission to take things, didn't you? You didn't indicate. You know what? I'm literally what shaking scale? as a trauma survivor. She didn't what say. Scale? She said, go ahead and, and take And did what you, you have need. permission from I the farmer? I didn't report her because I was kind. Oh, oh, she's so kind. She's not going to get that girl fired. As if this video of you being a psycho and that girl not putting a hairbrush in your ear does anything but show what an excellent employee she is. Didn't you hear her say rape survivor? Yeah, I did. And you saying it the way you did with no context other than to exonerate yourself from a charge of trespassing and theft has convinced me that you're lying. So what's, what's the game here, lady? Scream, you don't care I was raped until this guy leaves you alone. You think you're entitled to steal in peace? You think this video is just going to hit social media and people will forget you're a filthy hobo thief and instead get mad at the guy because he did not immediately kowtow on the altar of fictional victimhood for you? Did but you I have permission you. from the farmer? I had permission from her representing you the farmer. You emailed him last night. Her. No, you heard her say, take what you need. No, she then said, she take some items. That her job was jeopardized. And it's not jeopardized, sir. I can pay for the items if I have to today. But she heard me correctly. I'm Will on you my pay last for them? dollars. Did you hear me about rape? Are you hearing the word rape? Yeah, we hear it. But let me explain a few things to you, deflector of the straw man weaver, keeper of the deflection wand. The more severe a crime you claim to be a victim of, typically, the more horrific it is that you did so. A woman lying about stealing a pack of gum means nothing. A woman lying about rape could ruin people's lives. Society is not as evil as you like to think it is. We want to believe women when they come forward as victims of rape and sexual assault. Normal people don't rape people and don't want that happening to our loved ones. We take it seriously. Women like this are so sick because they take advantage of one of the last universal human kindnesses we try to offer. Not even for anything valuable. 
she's faking being a victim of rape and throwing it in someone's face to get free vegan food. It's not that victims of sexual assault shouldn't be listened to or helped in appropriate ways, but this woman, who I doubt has experienced such a thing, is trying to use it as a literal form of currency. If this was some isolated incident, I could just say, wow, she's nuts. But if you watch my channel or Late Night, you know we see this a lot. Leticia Collins lying about being raped by Jason W. Adrastia lying about people wanting to come sexually assault her. Heck, even James Clark claims he's the victim of people coming to rape him, threatening to hurt him and sexually assault him. Rape is the dead babies of social currency. It's such a terrible thing that to even question it makes you a bad person. Well, I'm questioning it with this woman. There is no connection between getting free herbs from the farmer's market and an alleged rape in your past. None, not one. She is cornered, she's wrong, she's a borderline personality having narcissist, and her brain literally cannot accept she is capable of doing anything wrong. Now she's activating her defense mechanisms. First and foremost, you're on camera. I'm a rape victim, and upon hearing that, you did not bow down, kiss my feet, and beg forgiveness on behalf of all men, which means you're a bad person. Yeah, this is why I like to call the bad person argument. When a woman is caught being wrong, she will attempt to shift the argument to what kind of person you are and juxtapose it to the good person she is. Consider as evidence every video you've ever seen of an obnoxious woman getting arrested. But I'm a good person! Being a good person to women is the equivalent of a man screaming, I am a tax-paying citizen in this community. Just by saying it, they expect the person confronting them to reevaluate their current behavior based on some record of good behavior in the past. I mean, I'm not trying to go full misogynist or anything with this. Men, we have some fucked up habits that are entirely ours. But deflecting a conversation from one thing to questioning who the good and bad person is in general is a very, very female trait. Unfortunately, another gendered trait here is victimhood being something that's revered. Men just don't get that card. We're told to get over it. We're told nobody's gonna make the past go away and we have to learn to cope with whatever happened. Frankly, I don't think that any actual victims think that victimhood is something to be prized. But to this woman, she sees stories online and documentaries of women telling their tales of victimhood, rape, trafficking, abuse, or whatever else, and she's jealous of the attention those people get. I'm willing to bet this hobo loser is living out of her car and isn't any kind of healer. People who make a grand an hour don't have to steal cilantro. My guess is this woman has nothing in her life and gets by in many cases by claiming to be whatever kind of abused wave she needs to. If we found she had a social media channel, my guess is it would be filled with stories from the distant past of the most horrible things happening to her that can never be verified or proven because the perpetrators of the crimes are all dead or just remain unnamed. Hey lady, this is the internet. We've seen it all before. There is absolutely a subculture of women that I think has always existed, but has been severely exasperated by social media that just fabricates their entire lives. And if this type of person realizes that decent people will typically listen to and help a victim, they might take advantage of that. We have attributed some positive aspects to being a victim that a certain type of attention-seeking sociopath will take advantage of. We listen to a victim. In some cases, with books, GoFundMe, social media, and interviews, there can even be a financial incentive to lie. However, sexual assault is a disgusting and serious crime. We can't delegitimize that because 10% of women are psychos. Therefore, we as a society tend to take one of two views on the matter. One, the feminist view, that even though women lying about sexual assault is a known problem, and according to the FBI, roughly 10% of reported cases are found to be completely falsified, we should ignore that completely in service of protecting and listening to the victims. These feminists will even go so far to say, if you aren't a rapist, what's there to be afraid of? Well, that kind of negates the fact these women are lying. And for every woman who makes up a lie about sexual assault, there's a man who had to pay the price for that lie with his reputation, livelihood, or even freedom. When one in 10 reported assaults are found to be fake, it's a scary thing for men. Hey feminists, 
You don't have to be doing anything wrong to have someone lie about you for social credit points or revenge. Then the other view, that no woman that you do not know personally is to be trusted. I hear the counter to this. What if it was your mother, sister, or daughter? Well, well, I know them. I know they're not sociopaths. But you can't blame me for not buying every word out of Amber Heard's mouth. I don't know her. And what I know of her is that she's a lying, manipulative member of that 10% I was just talking about. This woman here is another one. These people, not men, are the reason we can't just listen and believe victims. It's not that normal, decent people don't want to. It's that we've all seen this multiple times. Nobody ever considers that the behavior they display will have effects on other people. Everyone is the main character. We're supposed to not judge others by what we saw this person just do, but how many times do we have to see or hear about this stuff before we can admit it's time to universally stigmatize this behavior? People who do this should be cast out of society. Rape. Everyone Rape. here. Rape. Did you hear it again? Rape. That's not You're relevant. You're not even saying, I'm sorry you were raped, ma'am. Why would he? He didn't rape you. That is you not relevant how, to what you're doing here. Outstandingly great it is. Everyone that you are literally here on camera saying that a rape survivor doesn't need help when someone offered help to the farmers that you are pulling. Stealing? To no, the farmers I'm not a that you're pulling from. I actually from. want to work with this group to help them. To help them understand how important it is that we only have 60 years of motherfucking soil left. Do you remember me talking if to you, you about the soil? If you need because I know that I. I didn't loop that. She literally just went rape, 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 rape. So now after screaming rape, rape, rape over and over, she just invents some quotes. This is something you can watch a Drastia do a lot. Nobody has ever said the things she claims they say. She feels like that's what they're saying. And therefore, when retelling the events, it's apparently not a lie to invent them actually saying that. Because, hey, that's what they're really saying by not giving you a bunch of free groceries, right? I swear to God, this is their logic. This bitch thinks she is Wayne Gale doing an expose on the rape apologists at the local farmer market. And now she wants to help them. Oh, please, goddess of the snuggle struggle, help the farmers how to understand dirt. Where was your knowledge of dirt when these farmers grew all this shit in the market, you fucking momo? You need to now, work with us. We have Hillside Food Outreach for those that I cannot pay for I want to work for an for exchange. Food. I'm a thousand dollar an hour person who is online helping people heal. Go check me out. If you Stupid have income, please support please the farmer. And he's effectively ran her in circles until her own lies from earlier have hit her square in the face. She doesn't want a handout. She would have to help work the land for that. Oh, she, she's too good for that. No, no. She wants free groceries, you assholes. And in exchange, she's willing to explain how dirt works to you and maybe not get you murdered for harassing poor innocent rape victims. Miss, you're clear on what I said. You cannot be in the market at this time. It's a free open market. I'd like some mushrooms to pay for them. Sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. Go ahead. Um, yeah, can you call the police? For those of you who missed that, instead of leaving, this narcissist has to get her way somehow. So she's going to interrupt someone doing something else, like the obnoxious main character bitch she is, and demand to now buy a package of mushrooms. And also she wants the other stuff free. Now this has gone too far and the cops are getting called, which you should have done earlier. Women who will lie about rape and theft will lie about you doing those things to them just as quickly. You understand it's an act of trespass now, correct? It's not trespassing. It's a private market, sir, or public? This is actually a private event to which the public is invited, subject so to a set of me rules. That a rape survivor isn't allowed to shop. That's what Did you're she saying pay to me? for those? She gave them to me, and it's Are literally you shopping on film. for her? It's literally on. Are film. you shopping for her? I am going to shop from her, yes. Okay, but you were asked to leave the market due to the altercation we had, correct? We have no altercation. You made a scene. No, I'm explaining you to you. You said, you I were, don't care about rape survivors, you did, basically. You with a farm and there it is. You said you don't care about rape survivors. And just like Leticia or Adrastia, she has her little justification for why she's behaving this way. Now, nobody said that. But like I said earlier, she interprets her schizophrenic perception of your behavior as a direct verbal quote and has no problem at all throwing that quote around online. 
and hopefully someone else will take revenge for her. Either a bunch of crazy activists or another psycho. Luckily, I honestly don't think with this video as her evidence anyone's gonna buy it, but that is exactly what she's doing, make no mistake. Threatening this man that the feminist zombies will come in the night for him if she does not get what she wants. She will show them that he hates rape survivors. He doesn't care. Nobody will ever shop here again. When in reality, he was overly polite to a psycho hobo who was trying to steal. What is there your name again? To take what is items. You, you already name? have recorded my name. We'll That's do right. that when the and police And I can't come. remember it because I'm literally having heart disease. And I literally have it documented. Oh yeah, sweetie, I'm sure you're the victim of a number of ailments you can't prove. Anxiety, heart disease, and an unlimited amount of mental health diagnoses, right? Oh, and probably some severe addictions too. She doesn't seem like a crackhead, but she does remind me of two transient thieving hobo people I've done videos on who threaten to literally kill themselves if you don't give them money for pot. When rape and poverty fails, now the medical problems. Hey lady, I thought you were a thousand dollar an hour healer. Heal yourself. Unless, of course, you are in fact a transient vegan hobo residing in your automobile, scamming food off kind-hearted people, and inventing stories of victimization to exonerate yourself from charges of trespassing and theft. But since I have no idea who this woman is, I guess we'll never know. Though if she did have a social media page, I would definitely subscribe to it. And hey, speaking of subscribing, you should do that now if you haven't already, and hit that like button. Every like explodes the head of a false rape accuser. Tell me your thoughts below, and as always, don't kill yourself. See you next time.